Okay, guys, appreciate you sticking around. Um, obviously, very proud of our football team and the resolve they continue to show. Um, you know, where there's there's a lot of kids growing up in front of our eyes, and there's some things that happened on the field. You know, regardless of the outcome, there was just a, a different look in more guys' eyes uh, when we were down 11 there, with about seven and a half minutes left. And you know, we had to do some things really well there to to give ourselves a chance to win the game. And Kids did that. They're growing up, and uh, for that, I'm proud of them. And uh, it was fun to see them sing. They deserve all the credit. The assistant coaches deserve all the credit. And uh, you know, hopefully, uh, the kids make good decisions tonight. And we'll come back to work tomorrow and move on to the next one. Charlie, after a lot of close games this season, what's it like to see that that last drive and then pull one out? You know, I, I, I was asked that on the radio, and, and I don't. Yeah, I know it's a story, but I don't really think about it compared to the other close games. I really look at each one of them individually. And, like I said, you saw some kids grow up and resolve and found a way to make plays. And, um, you know, for that, I'm proud of the players. Can you address how you guys committed those three turnovers, uh, running back at over 200 plus yards, and you're able to get that drive together mm -hmm. in a win? Sure. Have you, can you express that game itself? We asked a couple questions there. Um, you know, we, we, had, we had, so I'll address the turnovers first. You know, three turnovers, I believe, led to, if, if uh, memory serves me right, about 17 points. Um, and, and those are things we got to get cleaned up. You know, the two picks early in the game. Uh, but again, you know, our kids were fighting. Our defense was in position. Really, all their points in the first half were from short fields for one reason or another. Um, you had obviously the muff punt as well. Um, so defense was backed up, and, and 29 is, is a great, not a good running back. He's a great running back, and we knew that. Um, and we knew that they, they were going to continue to feed him the ball. And, we had to do everything we could to gang tackle, get there, um, do everything we could to, because because he's a great player. He's going to make very good tacklers miss. And we had to do everything we could to get the second and third and fourth guy there to get him down. Um, we also knew that possessions were going to be limited tonight. I think we ended up, you know, I'll see it on film tomorrow with 10 possessions. That's a low number of possessions for us. And um, part of the reason we went so fast with seven and a half minutes left, plus you're down two scores. Coach, you know, Caleb's been there for you all year. He made the one real outstanding catch tonight, but the other receivers made plays, and that's something you've been searching for. And tonight was one of those nights, really, did you think you needed them all? Well, absolutely, Frank, and, and you're right. We saw signs of it last week, you know, when we got the ball to eight players. I don't know how many we got it to tonight, but we start off the game with a big pass right to Tyler Cameron. Um, and, and, you know, we want to change up some things that we were doing on the first play of the game because defensive coordinators look at that. And um, Tyler Cameron makes a great catch, and Pico had some great plays. Uh, you know, Nate Terry obviously had a great play there at the end, but um, the guys are, are catching the ball with more confidence. They're catching the ball away from their body with their hands better than they had earlier in the year. And again, they deserve all the credit for it because when you're out of practice, they won't leave the field without getting as many balls against the jugs machine as they possibly can before they run off and scurry off and get something to, to, to get to class. And they deserve the credit because they've been putting in the extra work to catch the ball better. And you're starting to see signs of that. You mentioned maturity. Yes. Uh, is part of that not panic? Henry doesn't make a great decision on the last punt return. Yes. You got the ball at the four yard line. But is part of that maturity saying, you know what, we'll overcome that? For sure. And, and I didn't feel any panic in the other 10 guys that were in the huddle. And, and I couldn't find Bussy because of you know everyone coming to see what personnel group was going to be in the game for the offense. And I went and found him. And I said, I, I was about, honestly, I was about to say, Henry, you need to put that away. And the look in his eyes told me I didn't have to say anything. Their, their punter's a rugby punter. Obviously, we have to get that cleaned up. It's a challenging ball to catch. Um, that's something we got to work on. But at the end of the day, uh, there was no panic. And you're right, that's part of maturing and growing up. What's it like to watch them sing the fight song? Awesome. Um, it, because one of, one of our, as a coaching staff, one of our big goals here is that the logo in this university, in this area, means something to the team. That's, that's something we've talked about from day one. Uh, and, and they sing that song with pride for the school. And it's sincere. And to see that happen means a lot to me and to them. Uh, and hopefully to anyone that gets you know, social media now, I'm sure it'll probably be out there in 10 minutes. But um, it's a big deal because that's when you're, when you're working to build a program, this logo, <coughs> And this logo meaning something matters. And we love what we're trying to get built here. Um, obviously, we want to get things going as fast as we can. I get that. 
Um, but, but to see them sing that song and to enjoy that moment, it's everything because they've worked for it and they deserve the credit. Coach, on the second of that defensive series, um, Trey Hendrickson chased down a minus running back on the third and fourth. That four is a game winning drive. Would you say that was one of the biggest defensive plays of the season for you guys? Boy, that's hard to put into context, but it was a very big play for tonight, certainly because it gave our offense a chance to go down for the winning drive. You've said all year that you're one or two plays from, from breaking through. Uh, counting that Trey Henderson play, that was three of those plays I think you got in the final five minutes of the game. Is that, is that the kind of thing you've been talking about, like in, in games that you hadn't won? Those, those were the plays you didn't make, and now you, you're seeing them make those plays. So. Yeah, you know, and, and, and I want to be cautious about that, Chuck, and you'd ask me a similar you know, line of questioning on Monday. Um, the thing that makes me think we're getting closer, and maybe that moment is either upon us or coming, is again, the, the there's just a different look in their eyes when we were down 11 with seven and a half minutes. It's different. Um, young kids, young men um, can get overwhelmed with those moments. And as they're growing up, there's a different resolve. There's a different poise. And I'm seeing that from more and more players. Uh, and, and again, they deserve the credit. The assistant coaches deserve the credit because it would have been very easy to fracture. No question, it would have been very easy to fracture. And to the credit of all the players and, and the character of the young men in that locker room, they didn't. And that leads to hopefully some moments that you could point back. I think those are really point back moments. That's when it happened. I think to say it in, in your current time is hard to do. Jason bounced back after the interception, 20 out of 25, but just look at the numbers. He had 79 yards rushing, yeah. kept some drives going. How big were those yards in the context of it? Huge, really, really big. When, when you're a tempo offense, moving the chains is a big deal, and that often gives you, you know, one of the goals is get that first first down, and then, then, then you start to put yourself in position to get up on the line and go for a big play. Obviously, like I said, we started off with a big play to Tyler Cameron, but they were, they were second in the league, I believe, coming into the game in pass defense. They, they max dropped quite a bit. They were three-man rush, eight-man drop. There was going to be some opportunities for that. You know, with three guys rushing, there's there's potential holes based on how they drop. And, and again, give credit to Travis, give credit to Jason for preparing in a way uh, where they knew that there was going to be an opportunity to hopefully take advantage of that and he moved the chains and allowed us to get in town. What about Jason's decision-making on that final drive? It seemed like he did beat. Knew when to run, knew when to... <laughs> knew when to pull the um, Yeah, I mean, really good. It was a successful drive. We, we moved the chains. He was very aware of the clock. I went to him. Uh, they took a timeout with, I think, 30-some seconds, if I remember correctly. And we were out of timeout, so I was I, I found him again in the, in the big group to figure out which person that we were going to put on the field. And I was getting ready to tell him that, hey, we're in a situation here where we may need to clock it to get our field goal team on the field to go to overtime. And it was another moment where I went to him, and as I was saying it to him, he knew exactly where I was. And, and there's another one that's blowing up right in front of our eyes. Was there any thought to reinsert the car in the second half when the offense was sort of slow? We talked about it at halftime, and again, we were just going off the field at that point. Okay, last one. Anyone? Motor. Bob, you obviously know how talented he is, but does he feel like a freshman running back at this point? Hard to. I've been. I've been blessed. I mean, I've been around some special ones with Alex Collins and Lonnie Ball, and you know some of those guys. So, what he feels like is a very, very talented, humble young man uh, that I think we have a lot of special things to come. Would Thank you, you guys. What do you think of Aziz's tackle of uh, O.C.? Um, what's that? Aziz's tackle of O.C. on that, uh, that last game. Thanks, guys.